Alrighty guys, part two of this uh, the international truck guys. I'm gonna try to hurry up and do this video because it looks like we're gonna be getting a storm here soon. So, which I'm hoping for, AZ needs it. Um, so I'm gonna go over the stuff we've replaced so far. It's still not turning over guys. Um, so I did, um, so actually I'll start in here. So obviously new battery, new fuel pump. Um, this is just a makeshift line for right now. Uh, new connectors, uh, new belt. So it has the two V-belts, uh, did an oil change, new filter, oil filter, um, clean the uh, the carburetor a little bit. Um, I just have that there for right now. Uh, new distributor cap with wires, um, new rotor, new coil. Um, am I missing anything? Um, no, I don't think I'm missing anything other than that. Oh, uh, oh um i left the points in there uh the points are still um stock so if we do have problems with uh, points i'll go from there but um yeah guys i, I want to get this thing turned over um i went over my wiring um i did also this just came in the mail um because when i like i said in the uh, other video it um it didn't have the uh the key so now i just got the key so hopefully this works it should work out um it's the same exact it looks like Ooh, that's pretty warm um let's see yeah it looks identical so i'm gonna throw this in put the wiring harness back on it's that guy right here um and uh and go from there so we're on our way to go pick up a starter. We have to drive uh, into Mexico City to uh, go get it. Um, okay, it's not really Mexico City, but we gotta go down to the uh, the slum bills of uh, Phoenix to pick this starter up. And uh, it's past my curfew. It's 11:30, and uh, so good thing we're strapping. But yeah, so we had to. Uh, we, we pretty much got it to where I we think the the starter is back because we uh, we crossed the uh, the two solenoids and um, it's not working. Um, we have uh, God, these. It's raining and people don't know how to drive in the rain here in Phoenix. Um, so we crossed the two, and yeah, nothing. So uh, so yeah, so we're on our way to AutoZone to uh, get this um, the starter. So. Hopefully they definitely do have it because they said they did, but um, I didn't know 100% if it was true or not. So yeah, guys. So we'll see what this uh, brings us, and hopefully it works. Later. We got it. We made it. We didn't get shot. So let's throw this thing in. Alrighty, guys. So starter's working. Still not turning over. So we're gonna go get a new fuel pump and I'm gonna clean the points. Uh, might need new points or just cleaning them. So let's start with that before we go any further. <laughs> Ready? Huh? Yeah, go ahead. Alright, go. Volts? Yeah. So it is charging? Yeah. And it's idling. It's idling. You can just have to the shit out. It's so smoky. I don't know what crap is on this end. Keep on going, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. So let's hop in here and show you what I'm doing. So when you put the new ignition in and uh, tighten down the uh, the little nut, it spun. So what I'm gonna have to do is, let's get back out of here cause it's like 160 degrees in there. I'm gonna have to uh, bore one of these out, one of these little nylon washers 
that way it gives it a little spacer so that way it um gives it a way to uh tighten down a little yeah guys so i'm gonna get drilling this and uh and show you what i mean by uh the spacer all right so i got her clamped in and i got this uni bit. that way when we put her in she's in like that so let's bore this real quick and i'll show you what i mean all right so first attempt did not work out very great um yeah so dig around in the old parts store and looky what i found look at this boom perfect let's try this out and hopefully it works all right so you don't look pretty but she will do got her tightened down so new keys and it actually will not just spin on you so what was happening was i wasn't able to do that okay it was all spinning i had to keep turning keep turning until the wires were twisting together enough to where i could actually turn the key so now i don't have that issue all right you guys so we're gonna go pick up the uh the carburetor so speak to it taking the can out sorry about it so loud but we're gonna go pick up, pick up the carb and uh, we'll put it back on the truck and uh, let's see if she fires up. Ready, guys. We got it. And she looks good, guys. Look at that. She almost looks new. We're gonna bolt this thing on and uh, and see if she turns over. All right. Throttle bodies or throttle cables all hooked up. Now just time for the choke. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I already opened my vehicle to full choke. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the choke open about like that. So that's when I'm choking the vehicle, um, that's about as far as I want it to go. Feed it through your little hole here. Okay, that set in almost perfect and may have to loosen that just a tiny bit more fed it through that put it in there okay now tighten down this screw so that way she doesn't fall off and move around okay all tightened down cables down let's try it out let's see if it works and something's getting stuck something's getting stuck on this so let me look into that i did some readjusting to this trying to straighten this little cable out very stiff cable um let's see if that works there we go let's finish hooking up the gas lines and uh and we'll try her out so i'm gonna take this gas line and uh, i'm just gonna spray it out using some of this uh brake cleaner just uh just to you know really clean it out you know see if we can blow out any extra debris i have cleaned it already uh, but let's just do it one more time i did even shine it up a little bit i might throw some polish on it just so it looks a little pretty. Okay, cleaned her out. So we're gonna feed this right under here and uh, and thread her in. All right, and now I have the bottom part. Um, I'm just gonna clean this out. Same method, a little bit of brake cleaner, a little quick, and also polish her up to look a little nicer. Let's try it again. Been charging a little bit. Oh, ho, 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 ho. ho. Idling good. A little bit of a tick. It's showing that it's charging. So that's good. I don't have the radiator hooked up, so I won't run it too much longer. Damn. Wow, guys. This truck has been sitting since 1985 we are we are in 2021 and this thing is alive guys after 
about nine hundred dollars of work and um and some waiting and rebuilding that carburetor it starts and, and it started on its own which is it's awesome i've had the thing started already dumping fuel down the uh down the carburetor when it wasn't rebuilt um now that this thing's rebuilt um it's it's working now i actually um primed it a little bit more and yeah, switch real quick i uh i moved this and you see the fuel go down it so i knew it was gonna i knew it was gonna start like i said i had to charge the battery up it was starting to die i only charged it for like five minutes and uh and then unplugged because i'm just want to and it barely started and it started so guys that's the end of this video um stay tuned for the next video don't know what we're gonna be working on but stay tuned and uh we'll be working more on this international please rate comment subscribe and that is it later